Hi everyone, so I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to use my fitness pal because I've received a lot of messages with people having um, some questions on how to use it. So I'm going to first start uh, by saying that this is what my screen looks like for today. I've already logged a bunch. So I'm actually going to go to tomorrow so I can show you how to input things. So if I go to the very top of the picture uh, of the screen, there's a carrot to the right of today. I'm just going to click that and it'll bring me to tomorrow. All right, so for breakfast, I'm gonna to wanna to have a bulletproof coffee. So I'm gonna to go to add food. And these are all my recent meals that I have in here, but you might not have any if you haven't been doing this. So you can do a couple things. You can friend me on MyFitnessPal, and it's Keto for Carboholics. And you can see the meals that I've had for the day, and you can actually copy them to make it a meal for you. Or, you can input your meals on your own. So I'm gonna show you how to input a meal first on your own. So we're going to go down to recipes and we're gonna do create a recipe and enter ingredients manually. And I'm gonna call this bulletproof coffee. I'll call it BPC. And it's gonna serve one person. And then I'm gonna hit the arrow to the right of add a recipe and then I'm gonna click add ingredient. Now I need to put in my ingredients. The first thing I'm gonna put in is coffee. So I'm gonna click where it says search for a food and then type in coffee and then search. Um, and then I'm gonna pick the first one right up here, brewed from grounds. And I'll do eight full ounces. And then I'm gonna add another ingredient. I'm gonna add butter. And when you're searching for the ingredients, you're gonna notice that a lot of different ingredients pop up. You can go for your specific ingredient you're using. Um, so for instance, we can scroll down and find the brand of butter. I will use Kerrygold butter. And I'm gonna put one tablespoon in. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm going to add the MCT oil. And look for the brand that I use. It's right here. And I use one tablespoon. And I think I'm gonna put some vanilla in here. All right, just like that. And I'll put in uh, half a teaspoon. So uh, see where it says serving size right here? See, it said um, one tablespoon by accident and you wanted to change that. You would just click serving size and you have all of these options right here to choose from. I'm gonna do teaspoon. And since I want a half a teaspoon, I'll go to number of servings and I'll bring this down to zero and this down to one half. So it's one half teaspoon. And I'll enter that in. <clears throat> so this is the Bulletproof Coffee. Now I'm all set. I'm gonna hit the carrot to the right of add ingredients. And I'm gonna save the recipe. And I'm also gonna log it at the same time. So save and log. And then, okay arrow, I'm all done. So there we go. Now I wanna have some eggs for breakfast. So I'm gonna to go to add food again. And if I'm just having regular eggs, I can just put in the regular egg. But if I'm going to do an omelet, I'm gonna to wanna to create a recipe so it makes it much easier for me for next time. But let's say I'm just doing eggs. Now another great feature about this is you can use the barcode to scan ingredients. So for instance, say um, you bought your eggs at the store, you can scan the barcode on there and it'll pop it right into this. You're still gonna wanna double check the nutritional information if it looks off to you, or even just double check it every time. Cause sometimes people have put it in and they put it in incorrectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the eggs in. And search. I'm gonna do one large egg and one serving. I'm gonna add that on. And then I think I'm going to do a piece of bacon. I always do thick cut bacon, so I'll type in thick cut 
And so see, it already popped up with what I use because I use it very often. So I'm going to click it. And I usually do two slices and it knows that. So put it in for me. And so that's it. That's my breakfast. <clears throat> now I'm actually upgraded recently to the premium subscription. So it tells me right here at the breakfast that I've had 0.4 grams of carbs, 43.8 grams of fat, and 16.6 .6 grams of protein um, for this meal. One thing you do have to keep in mind is that this is not your net carbs. So to know your net carbs for the day, you're want to go. You're gonna want to come up and you're want to just click where it says the 1432, the, the 439, just click right up at the top. So once you click it, it's gonna bring you to this screen. It's gonna show you the nutrients. Now, right here, I have zero carbs, but if I did have carbs here, uh, it would tell me my total, and then I would subtract the fiber right below it, and that would give me my net carbs for the day for this meal. So let's go back to that other screen. You're gonna hit the X right up at the top. So I've added my breakfast in. I know what I've eaten so far today. I've had 439 calories and I have 993 left. So I'm going to go down um, and I'm going to go to lunch and I'm going to add something. I'm going to go to recipes because I have a bunch of recipes put in here. Um, for my lunch, I'm going to do a bunless burger. So I would just click that, click that and I'm having one, so one serving and I'll put that in. Now see how much easier it is to add in a meal once you've already created a recipe? It may take longer in the beginning, but it's gonna save you a lot more time long run. Um, now let's see, I also wanna have a spinach salad. So I'm gonna go back to recipes and find my spinach salad. I'm gonna have one serving, so I'm gonna add that again. Now this is my lunch for the day. If this is something I'm gonna have often, if I'm gonna have a bunless burger and a spinach salad, I wanna create a meal out of this. So I'm going to go and click the three dots right below the spinach salad. And I'm going to do save as a meal. And now I'm going to name this meal. Burger and spinach salad. And that's it. Now, instead of having to add each one in, I can just add the meal in and that will be even faster for me. Now, say I'm getting close to dinner <clears throat> and I don't know what I've had for carbs today. Um, I don't know what I wanna do for dinner. So I'm gonna go back up to the top and click here and it's gonna show me what I have. So for the day, I've had three grams of carbs so far. I'm gonna minus my one gram of fiber. That brings me to two grams of carbs. I have plenty of carbs left for dinner. Uh, protein at 67. I only have one gram of protein left, so I need to keep it low on the proteins. And fats, I have plenty of fats. So what could I do? I could look through my meals to see what I have that's available in that, or I could wing it, um, or I could do some fat bombs. I think I'm gonna do some fat bombs because I really want one and I need the fats. So I'm gonna go to recipes. And I'm gonna look for the fat bomb I want. Let's see, where are you? Here you are. This one's a good one because I have higher fats and low protein in this. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have two of these. So I'm gonna adjust my servings. I'm gonna enter that in. Great, I've now hit my protein goal and let's go see what I have available for me. All right, so I have four grams of carbs left. I've gone over my protein by three grams, um, and I still have some fat to get to. So what I'm gonna have to do in this case, I'm gonna have some MCT oil, um, and I'm gonna look at a, a couple different op options for what I have to eat for this meal. Normally I would have pre-planned out what I'm having, so I wouldn't have had so much protein already during the day, um, but just for this video's purposes, I just made up those meals. So I'm gonna go back to the main screen. So I've put in all my information and I'm all set to go. Now, another great thing about MyFitnessPal is it also tracks your exercises. So if I'm exercising at all today, I can add it in. Or if I have a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or something that tracks my exercise, it can send it straight in here. So I'll show you how to add it. You're gonna to go to the very bottom and hit the plus and exercise. And I'm gonna do cardio. 
and I'll go to all exercises. And let's see, I think I'm gonna do some competitive badminton and I'm going to have done it for 25 minutes. So it adds it in, it gives me exercise calories. I earned 194 calories extra for the day. I can choose to eat them or I can just bank them. And then also you're gonna to wanna to weigh yourself and input that as well. Again, you'll go to the plus at the bottom, you'll go to weight and you can enter your weight in. 300 um, and you put the date and you can take a progress photo if you'd like and then when you're done you would hit the check mark and it would log your weight for you and then when you're done for the day you can hit complete diary or the next day it'll just start on the next day for you all right so if you have any more questions about this just go ahead and put them in the comments I will try to answer them for you um, but I think this should get you going and you should be fine Thanks for watching.